Okay. I think the the, 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 the video is, is back looking a little bit normal, so I'll continue with uh, the flea market finds. And I only found one blue note at the flea market, but man, let me tell you, this, this record is in impeccable condition, and I don't have it. Um, surprisingly, I always find this with blue notes. I always run across one that, like, I just don't, I never seen. You know, wrecked by the cover, and this is one of, and like, this is like, with the with the exception of a few chips, it's in like museum collection state and shape. I mean, like, this could be a museum piece, and it's by one of my favorite, one of my favorite, not my favorite, but one of my favorite blue note artists, Blue Donaldson, Gravy Train. And it's just, I mean, I don't know what to say about it, man. Like, you just don't find these albums like this in this condition. And uh, this is on the New York, New York label. I keep looking over to the side because I have my, my, my brand new dog running around the house acting crazy. So I just want to make sure you're coming in and disturb me. But anyway, that's the only blue note that I found at the flea market, but I mean, God, I mean, it just ended a great blue note weekend, so another one, and I mentioned in my other video that I was on to something I hope materialized tonight, it didn't, I can't get in touch with this kid, but he was selling these records, they were in his dad's collection, he said he had a lot more, um, so, you know, naturally I asked him, you know, let me come to the house and see him. He was receptive, but it hasn't happened, so I hope it, I really hope it does. You know, I'm at 50-50 as far as why I hope it happens. I hope it happens so I can make a video and share it with you guys, and I hope it happens so I can get these great LPs um, in my collection, and you'll see the gist of what his dad was collecting, and when you do, when I finish this video, you're going to be like, wow, so this is the next one, Houston Person, Underground Soul. Um, this guy is, is a funky saxophone player. I mean, if you don't know, you better ask somebody. Yeah, I know that sounds whack, but really. Do yourself a favor and get up on it. This is on the, uh, the dark blue prestige label. Underground Soul. Breeze through these. So the video is a little bit more easy to swallow. I mean, you don't want me. Another one. Gene Ammons, Bossa Nova. Bad Bossa Nova. Now, Gene Ammons is, is, is kind of sentimental to me because this was the, his record. Um, what was it called? I think it was called Jug. Brother Jug is back. No, Brother Jug. The one that has his, his head real big on the cover. That was one of my first uh, prestige LPs that I dug out. And then, uh, I think it's called Jungle Strut. Is it Jungle Strut? I think it's called Jungle Strut. I mean, that really got me into jazz funk. Because at first, I was just trying to get straight funk. Didn't really care about the jazz stuff. But that that's what did it. That's the LP. So, you know, I snatched everything. Again, Black and White Jubilee label. Uh, uh, not, the, not the deep groove, though. Um, but, you know, the vinyl, mint. Next one, never heard of this guy. Can't wait to listen to this. This is on Bethlehem Records. This is the happy jazz of uh, Ozzy Johnson. And, um, yeah, Thad Jones is really the only guy that I know his body of work. You know, I know a lot of pieces that he's worked on. The other people on here are Frank West who plays the flute, and I bet you that's dope, because I never heard a flute during jazz that was whack. Um, Dick Katz, never heard of him, and I have heard of Bill, Bill Hughes, um, but you know, uh, it says Ozzy Johnson is the drums and the vocal leader on this, so I'm looking forward to that, and that's on the Bethlehem label, which I love their labels for some reason. I mean, their labels look so crisp all the time. I, I like that. I mean, I don't know if you guys could could see that, but that that's kind of like reflective. Like you will find on a pair of New Balance shoes, and just for them to have that, no spindle marks on this label. 
I mean, beautiful LP. This guy has some serious jazz. Another one. Riverside. Blue Mitchell. Out of the blue. Anybody who, who collects jazz knows. You already know. You already know. This is what Art Blakey on the drums. You don't have to be a jazz aficionado to know who Art Blakey is. Paul Chambers. Sam Jones. Let's go. JFK Quintet. I haven't listened to this, but let me tell you something. This has Walter Booker Jr. on it. And Walter Booker Jr. is probably one of my favorite bass players. Uh, one of three, of course, Charles Mingus. Love him. I love more about the character that Charles Mingus was than his music. But his music was amazing, too. And I love Charles Mingus. Uh, tribute, whatever what would you call it, tribute ensemble. It's called the Mingus Big Band. I wish I could find, if you guys, anybody watching this knows a little bit more about these guys, if that Mingus Big Band um, uh, group is still performing. I heard they used to perform at a club exclusively in New York, but I don't know. If you know where I can look and find some dates and buy some tickets and maybe take a trip to New York, let me know. Send me an email so I can do that because I would really like to see them. I've heard their music. I don't have any of their music. I wish they would release them on LP. They don't. It's all on CD. So maybe I'll send a couple of emails if I can find the right people to email and see if, 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 they'll, if they'll do that. Right Riverside label, though. Next one, cover has issues, it has tape on it. This Cannonball Adderley, Cannonball Adderley uh, is an alumni of the same school that I went to. I think my video's off again, damn. Uh, but anyway, uh, Florida a &M University, Black Riverside label. I think when I put the album close, it screws with the, the timing of the video. But I don't know if it's that bad, but I'm just gonna keep going. Because I'm almost finished. Candido. 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 I really don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Um, and you know, to be honest with you, I haven't heard any of his stuff that that's, that's you know, over the top amazing. I mean, I think the pictures that he takes is more amazing than, than, the, than the, the actual music. I haven't really listened to a lot of his music because the music that I have heard from him, I really wasn't feeling. You know, he actually took his career all the way into the, like the little disco era. Um, he was releasing stuff on uh, Southall and uh, all that stuff. But I grabbed it. You know, he looks like he's putting a lot of effort into what he's doing with those bongos. So. I'll, I'll give it a listen. I'll listen to anything. This next LP is pretty dope. Bagpipe Blues, Rufus Harley. Um, Bagpipe Blues, the actual title song on this is pretty good. And also, they have a, he has a version of Chim Chum Cherie. Um, you guys, I, I, tried to, I tried to find if it was downloadable or anywhere. I'm just going to have to rip this off of vinyl and, and you know put it in, you know, see if I can remaster it myself. Um, because the bad pipes on this LP are very, very loud. I, 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 this will be something that I will buy if they remaster it and quiet those bad pipes a little bit because the background music on it is really good. I mean, the guys that are playing with him, you know, they did a good job. Um, it's just, like I said, the bad pipes are just a little overwhelming, you know. And then you can't hear the great music that's being played in the background, even though he's, he's doing a good job on the bagpipe. But, you know, I was glad to have this. This is a white label. It's a promo LP. It's the white label. Mint label, mint vinyl. Even has that little DJ copy stuff on the back. So I'm happy to have that. This is taking a while. Let me just start cruising. Chico Hamilton. Uh, we all know what that looks like. That's an impulse. Another cannonball Adderley. All of this stuff is, is in collectible and sellable condition. Fill up church. Jazz guitarist. Pretty dope. 
on Cadet. Larez Alexander. Um, never heard of him. I would give it a listen, and then, you know, if you guys want to know what I think, go ahead and send me some comments, subscribe while you're at it, and I'll let you know, you know, what it do. Uh, Louis Ramirez and his orchestra. You know, I love these old jazz LPs. They have these these, these girls in the, on the cover, and they find, like, cool ways to make the girl look, you know, all jazzy and everything. Um, I'm gonna try it out. It's probably Latin stuff. I dig Latin music. <sighs> Liberian Suite by Duke Ellington on Columbia. Very nice LP. Heard a couple of stuff, a couple of tracks off of this. This one is a six eye and it has just one issue right there. You can't feel it. Actually, I think that might come off. I don't know, we'll try. I'll try to clean it off and see. And then I got a couple of Muse records. These are the last two. These are on the Muse label. David Fathead Newman. Resurgence. That's a promo. Lou Donaldson, again. Um, Backstreet. That's a promo. Sky. Guys, you know, cross your fingers and pray that that kid calls me back because I really want to get my hands into that collection and save these LPs. I, that's what I do. I, I collect records, but I also say that I rescue them um, from being um, battered anymore. Like that one that has a little issue on it. But that's my second video, guys. You know, those are my jazz finds for this week, and I have rock finds, but I don't have that many. I had a couple of Hendrix albums um, that I found, a couple of Dylan albums that I found that were mono pressings. That's always exciting to find. But uh, other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Jazz Finds is my vinyl video number two. Jazz Finds, I'll label it that. Hopefully, you know, you guys start to watch and subscribe. This is me sharing. You know, welcome me to the vinyl community.